Survival anime are those where our protagonists find themselves in a new and totally different situation. Possibly in the new setting that our characters have to face, their life is at stake. And it's almost impossible to see an immediate solution which can change the outcome. Number 10, we have The Lost Village. Mayoiga revolves around 30 individuals who decided to join the tour toward the lost village named Nanakimura. Each of them with their own reasons, they dreamed a life far away from the noisy downtown and daily struggles. Yet Nanakimura is hard to be found, and when they manage to reach it, it is uninhabited, but with lingering traces of life. What happened to those who lived in the lost village? And what will happen to the newly arrived villagers? Even though Mayoiga lacks bloody and gore scenes, its atmosphere can really strike fear into the viewers. Basically, each of the 30 people who decided to leave their previous lives behind in order to start a new one are forced to face what they decided to avoid instead, their own problems, their fears, their inner demons, with a very twisted method. A very great survival show, all the more if you like to speculate while watching. At number 9 we have Devil Survivor 2, the animation. Yes, Devil Survivor 2, the animation, is based off of a video game, but that doesn't change its compelling story and execution. When the group called the Septon Trions begin to invade Japan, some heroes decided to step up and defend their country. They sign a deal with the devil, turning them into the 13 Devil Messengers. The group sets out to drive back the Septon Trions, who appear once a day. However, there is a catch. The Septon Trions must be defeated before the seven days are up. This anime is a classic example of the type of fight to survive anime that usually make up this list. However, it is placed on the lower end because it includes many cliché plot points. And being a video game adaptation, it has very little depth beyond what is included in the game. Yet this does not diminish this adaptation too much. The fight sequences are still exciting, and the basic theme of the video game continues on strongly throughout the animation. It is a shorter anime and a good introduction to what you can expect from the video game. The despair of being caught in a hopeless fight still comes across well, and the survival aspect is particularly enticing when you pair it with the original gameplay aspect. At number 8 is Gantz, that revolves around K Kurono, who is your typical Japanese high school boy bored with life and cynical to no end. One day, coming back from school, due to some very cruel circumstances, he dies with his childhood friend, Masaru Kato, by being run over by a train while they were trying to save a homeless person that has fallen on the rail. Kei and Kato wake up in a room with no way out, and only a black ball that shouts orders. Together with other dead people, Kei begins a deadly game, fighting against aliens with the possibility to have his life back as a reward. Gantz is cruel, grotesque, and gory, but it is more than the mere splattering of blood, more than death and violence. It is a mirror reflecting the ugliness of society, and depicting the faults and unsightliness of the human nature in the cruelest way. In short, this survival show is not for the weak of heart. It wields a claustrophobic feeling that there won't be light at the end of the tunnel. Pick it up only if you are ready to face all of this. And number 7 is Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress. The undead are rising in horrific forms known as Cabane, zombie-like in nature. The only way to destroy these Cabane is to strike them through their steel-covered hearts. A servicer for the trains which connect human civilizations, Ikoma is eager to fight these monsters, as he has been perfecting a weapon to better end the Kabane for years. However, his chance will come sooner than he expects, when the safe fortress that is his home falls under attack. While the series takes a similar approach to many other zombie apocalypse tropes, it has its own flair in the steampunk elements strewn throughout. On the other hand, the more cliché elements still have a strong effect on its despairing feeling. The Kabane are familiar as horrific monsters in many of their qualities, and their steel-caged hearts represent an added challenge for humanity to overcome. If there is in any way that Ikoma and his comrades can win the war against the Kabane, it is impossible to see, as more and more problems continue to plague their travels. And number 6 is Danganronpa, the animation. Makoto Nagai won a lottery as the ultimate lucky student, gaining the chance to attend Hope's Peak Academy. This high school only accepts elite students who receive a title describing their own talents and skills after being enrolled. Makoto Nagi, though, is just an ordinary boy who won that title by pure chance. So he's overly happy to have the chance for a bright future. The moment he steps into the academy, though, he faints 
and waking up, he realizes that he is trapped in a school with no way out. Monokuma, the school president in the form of a little bear, makes an announcement to the 15 students. They will be able to graduate only if they manage to kill one of their classmates without being discovered. Well, if the idea of being trapped in a school with a scary teddy bear as the school president and the premises that graduation means killing someone without being discovered wasn't enough, there's another treat. Being discovered after killing someone means automatic death for the culprit. Feel for yourself the despair and the fear Makoto Nage and the other students will go through. As a survival anime, Danganronpa wields a strong plot and a lot of mysteries that will stick you to the screen from beginning to end. And number five is Shiki. Shiki is an adaptation of a horror novel and is about the story of how two young men must try to solve the mystery behind a sudden epidemic turning the small town of Sautaba into a nest of vampires. After the abrupt demise of young Megumi Shimizu, antisocial Natsuno Yuki must overcome his own pain in order to help in the greater danger occurring in Sotaba. Meanwhile, Toshio Ozaki, a young doctor, starts to doubt the disease that killed Megumi is as simple as it seems. While this anime may seem like a simple story of vampires versus humanity, the lines begin to blur between good and evil. Shiki is one of the better survival anime out there. It shows a deeper side to the genre giving the viewer more questions to ponder than just, will the characters make it out alive? And while it does have some of the qualities needed for a survival anime, its air of mystery and psychological thinking outweighs some of the hopeless feelings one might get from a different anime in the genre. But if you are a fan of vampires or mystery, Shiki is a must watch. And number four is Phantom, Requiem for the Phantom. This show revolves around the Mafia situated in America and how a Japanese tourist gets dragged into their world of assassination, death, and cold murder. Given the code named Zwei, he has to fight in order to survive the new life that was forced onto him. I recommend the show for everyone that enjoys stories set in an urban environment of modern days. And even though the action scenes are great, especially for fans of guns and shootings, Phantom focuses more on the relationship between the two main leads, Ein and Zwei. The show has a great fan base, so check it out if you want to find out what the hype is all about. At number 3, we have Tokyo Magnitude 8.0. Mirai Onozawa, and a middle school student who is unhappy with her life, brings her younger brother Yuki to Odaiba during summer vacation. Yuki is fascinated with robots and wants to go visit the robot exhibit there, so Mirai reluctantly takes him. But when a massive earthquake rocks the city, the two kids are trapped in Odaiba, uncertain about how or when they will be able to get home. Luckily, they meet Mary Kusakabe, a kind woman who decides to help Mirai and Yuki. Together, they will try to find a way home as the disaster continues to paralyze the vast city. Tokyo Magnitude 8.0 is not your typical survival anime. The characters don't have to fight any monstrous beings or compete against one another to survive a challenge. The series has much more reality to it, and that makes it that much frightening. Mirai and Yuki are both quite young, and they struggle to make it back home through the devastated Tokyo landscape. The story is both heartwarming and heartbreaking all at once. A masterfully done anime. That is why Tokyo Magnitude 8.0 is this far up on the list. It connects deeply with its audience because they recognize that this survival situation is one that could be very real. And very, very scary. At number two, we have Terror in Resonance. After a terrorist attack on a nuclear facility in Japan, all that remains is the word Von. Written in red, the police are trying to find the culprits, but it seems an impossible task to track down who is behind the attack. Six months after the event, two teenage boys calling themselves Sphinx upload a video on the internet challenging the police. They promise to destroy Tokyo, sue chaos, and mayhem. While in the beginning, it all looks like some kind of sick joke, Sphinx isn't joking at all. This is how the terror begins, and the epilogue will be devastating. Zankyu no Terror is a different kind of survival anime. In fact, the two protagonists don't have to fight against monsters, nor do they have to struggle to survive in a difficult environment. Sphinx is just two teenagers, one on the polar opposite to the other, seeking revenge for what's been done to them. So basically, the situation here is reverted, as the ones sowing chaos, the bad ones, are the protagonists. But it's teenagers we're talking about. Zankyu no Terror teaches an important lesson. What goes around, comes around. So we're sorry to inform you that you should prepare some tissues, as the chances that you'll shed tears in the end are very high. Number one is Kaiji, Ultimate Survivor. Kaiji is one of my personal favorites, even though it might not be as popular as other shows on this list. It shows that struggles of gambling addict Ito Kaiji, who participates in a rather unique game. 
he gets a chance to fight other players in an adjusted game of rock, paper, scissors in order to win enough money to get rid of all of his debts. Can he win one last game that might turn his life around? This one goes out to all those viewers that like survival anime but don't necessarily want to see too much blood or gore in general. Suspense is created through Kaiji's struggle and his constant attempt to find new techniques that could guarantee his victory. Don't be put off by the rather unique character design. After some episodes, you will learn to appreciate the thin faces and long noses. And in this case, it's a special recommendation for fans of shows like Death Note or No Game, No Life. Of course, there are many anime in the survival genre. These included on our list are only a few, but we believe these few to be among the best. What did you think of our list? Did we leave anything out? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. And if you would like to support me, consider becoming a Patreon. It really helps me out a lot, and lets me keep making these amazing videos just for you guys. As for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.